Some stunning news in the midst of an eight-game losing streak. The Grizzlies have fired head coach David Fisdale on Monday. Our own DA points to a rift, perhaps, between he and Star Marcus Gasol. One of the star players, as you mentioned, probably the best player in franchise history, and the head coach were not seeing eye to eye. They were not even talking to each other, from what I understand. Um, and the record in these sorts of things is, you know, star player eight billion coaches three, and those three coaches are Red Auerbach, Phil Jackson, and Greg Popovich. So that's the way it is in the NBA. And, the, you know, the Grizzlies can say all they want that this has nothing to do with Marcus Gasol, but it has almost everything to do with Marcus Gasol and him not being happy at how he was being used or, in the case of Sunday night's game, not used uh, down the stretch by David Fisdale. You know, when you have a problem with your main player and – philosophically you don't agree on style of play or mm -hmm. how you should play then at the end of the day the coach is always going to lose that battle with a player who has you know more he's got the juice more, yeah absolutely and, and he's got and, he, and he's got more tenure in the league also so when you when you when you talk about you know philosophical difference with your best players then you you better get behind closed doors and figure out how to get on the same page that he's on. Because at the end of the day, that player's got to go out and produce for you. And that's how you win. Bones, you got to explain this one to me. Because this is a guy who everybody wanted to play for. Everybody loved the culture he had presented. We all joke about the take that for data. Oh, but that showed the care and the investment that this man put into that team. How do we get from there to here this early in the season? Well, I think the shocking thing is with, with how swift the decision was. There was a lot of chatter about the fact that Marcus Gasol didn't play in the fourth quarter, and a lot of people were wondering over the course of the next two to three weeks how that might affect the team. Well, the decision came the next day about where they wanted to go. So um, very, very strange in terms of the immediacy of letting Coach Fisdale go with what's going on there. And I think the bigger picture is really to think about the Memphis Grizzlies and their management situation at this point because – you got to look at what they've done with their roster in the past couple of years. Mike Conley, Marcus Gasol, those are the mainstays. They uh, they parted ways with a lot of veteran players. I mean, roughly 50 years of experience between Zach Randolph, Vince Carter, Tony Allen, and all of a sudden you're going to change really the the identity of your team. So you hire Fizdale away. You say and do all the right things. You give him an opportunity last year. He does a great job coaching them, challenges the Spurs in the playoffs, as you said, had the moment last year where he has their back. And then you think about the team coming into this year where they're going to start to play younger players. They have injuries to their should-be all-star Mike Conley, and they lose a bunch of games, but they had some big wins in the early part of the season. You're thinking they'll be competitive, uh, waiting for Mike Conley to get healthy. And then they remove their head coach. This, to me, doesn't really sit well uh, in terms of uh, David Fisdale and the treatment of him, especially given what the organization has not really maybe defined for him and where they wanted to go. They've defined it now that they're going to go find a new head coach. But for the direction of that team, what can that Memphis Grizzlies team do for the rest of the year as J.B. Bickerstaff is going to take over at the in, uh, as an interim coach, which he's done before in Houston, what are the expectations of where this ball club can go? And how does this decision, Casey, quite frankly, change what it is that Memphis might be considering this year with some of the guys on their roster? Well, look, I don't know what they expected considering the roster, but is, is Marcus Gasol LeBron James? Is he Tom Brady? Is, is he Michael Jordan? I mean, you talk about the handful of guys that we could think of that could fire coaches and run teams yeah, but from do you a feel, floor. Okay, I mean, well, really? But do you feel that, that Marcus Gasol was – wielding his power in that kind of way in a, in a very do domineering and demonstrative way in this in this instance we heard da talk about how there, there was not maybe a, maybe the relationship between marcus soul and david fisdale was strained right um how do we know and that? and that and that can happen because you're used to a voice in dave yeager and you're used to other guys in the locker room that are not there anymore that's a hard adjustment. As much as in the offseason you go and prepare yourself as a player, then you step into that environment in training camp, and then the coaching staff asking you maybe to do things that you haven't been asked to do in seven or eight years. Be a positive guy in the locker room. Encourage these guys to help play through mistakes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for a guy like Marcus Gasol, who's 32 years old, how long is he going to be willing 
to do that when he sees maybe the writing on the wall for this team is that, A, they, they might not be competitive enough to make the playoffs this year in the Western Conference, and how many years is he going to be able to contribute in that way, and does he have the patience to play with a lot of young players and it being a style, of, a style change under Fisdale that, that maybe he doesn't want to go through. So very curious uh, dismissal of a coach. Uh, now it's two of the, I guess, two of the last three firings in the NBA have come out of Memphis. And, uh, and now the Grizzlies have some real, real things to think about with regards to the direction of where this season goes and, and possibly what their roster is going to look like. Well,